Hey, Anna. You know what? The weekend is a chance to escape and explore and get away from the day-to-day -day workloads, you know? Not if you have kids and other commitments, but it is mm. true. The weekend is a get out and explore on your bike. So here's a little weekend warrior's guide to bikepacking. Ooh. <laughs> On a weekend, you're limited to time. Well, 1.5 days, one night or two nights, two days. The best place to start is on your doorstep. Head out from the city or your town where you live and explore your local rural areas. Question is, how do you find these routes or trails to explore? Well, there are a number of websites to browse for information on routes. We've used Kamut, Strava, and another great place to find routes is bikepacking.com. There is loads of information on the web to help you plan your route. Do your homework and do your due diligence. You'll want to make it easy for yourself for your weekend trip. Sometimes the best bit about the trip is working out your route and planning it all in the evenings after work. When it comes to bikepacking, it's all about camping out under the stars and in the woods. But where to sleep is the question. There are a number of ways to go about this. You can do it the hardcore way. Only a few people do this, not for everyone. And that is sleeping in the hedgerows. Or on the other hand, is sleeping in a hotel, which Neil likes to call five-star bikepacking. A tent is a good way to get shelter, but it can be heavy and bulky to carry on your bike. Although there are a few brands out there that make specific tents for this sort of thing, like the Toe Peak Bike Camper. Or you can opt for the hammock and sleep in the trees with a tarp for rain shelter. This is a great option that provides shelter to sit under, sleep under and store your stuff under. Bibby Bag lets you sleep under the stars and it is a very lightweight, faff-free setup and needs no more than your sleeping bag and a bivvy. It's not for everyone though and should probably be reserved for dry weather. Campsites or out in the wild. For a quick weekend getaway, it's best to plan your trip around staying at campsites. It's safer. It has everything to keep you clean and refreshed for the next day's cycle. Some campsites have restaurants or takeaway trailers for your recharge. Or a pub could be nearby as well. Whereas if you sleep out in the sticks, you won't have any of these facilities. You'll need to bring your own food. So that's something to consider. Like we just mentioned, food is key for obvious reasons. You need to recharge for a bike ride and refuel for the next day. If you're not eating out in a pub or a restaurant during your ride, then you're going to need to consider buying some camping specific food to take along your journey or factor in some shop stops along the way to buy some food before you eat that night. Blake, what bike is the best bike for bikepacking? Well, Anna, take a look at these two plonkers looking <laughs> absolutely confused on what bike to look at. Sport for choice they are. I would say the best bike that you have is the one that you have in your garage. For me, it's the hardtail. I feel like it's the best all rounder. It's simple and it gets the job done. Yeah, you know what? I love the gravel bike. It's lightweight, it's simple, it's supportive for all of the weight and it has loads of rack mounts so I can attach all of my bags to it. And it doubles as a good commuter bike, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Be it if it's an enduro bike, a trail bike, an XC bike, a hardtail, any bike, a fat bike, the bike you have is the best bike to go out there and explore. It's all about that. Rolling up into camp, feeling good about your day's ride. <laughs> Hell of an adventure. Yeah. What a good weekend. Woo. Right, leave no trace. That is minimizing your impact on the environment. So pack out your trash and dispose of it properly. Also, don't disturb your local wildlife because mm, you don't want to 
You don't want to chase them out, do we? No, no, no don't be feeding them either. Nope. Stick to designated bike trails, respect private land, and respect those gate closures. You don't want a flock of sheep eating your tent nope. in the middle of the night, do you? Uh, also, avoid fires and damaging vegetation. You should be taking only photos and leaving only bike tracks. I like it. Remember, bike packing is about the adventure and enjoying the ride, but be a bit flexible just in case the unknown just pops out at you and you just have to change your ideas at some point. Right. Well, let us know if you've got any bike packing adventures that you've got on the horizon or that you want to do, let us know down in the comments below. We want to hear from you. And other tips as well. See ya. Bye. Cup of tea? Yes. Tea.